Welcome to another video from Guilao 60. We're in Rong An. It's uh, on our way to Sanjiang. Uh, it's a uh, well, where we're going on this trip. And uh, this is the the boss, China Radio International boss's hometown. So uh, we're stopping here, gonna have something to eat, and then we're gonna get back on the road again, and uh, we're gonna make it to our final destination. Rice flour. And it looks like we're going to be having some special rice noodles, homemade type, this area stuff. And this is what it, it sort of looks like after you uh, you got your noodles and your meat and your veggies and you got a bunch of pickle stuff and some hot peppers and all of that. This is uh, this how it is. So, uh, so let's 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 give this a try. Mm. Mm. No, this is this is actually really really good. It's got a spice. I put some hot peppers into it and uh, and some pickled whatever's in it. It gives it a little bit of, so it's a little spicy, but it's got a it's sort of it's a sweet it's the taste. Pickled, it's the pickled whatevers that really make it, right? The pickled whatevers. Mm. The pickled whatevers are perfect. <laughs> then you got a hunk of. Yeah, the meat. Like We're not quite sure what this is. I don't know either. I got a, a pork ball. Kind of meatball. Yeah. No one special. It's a, a meat pork ball. I think the pickle is green beans. The green beans are pickled, yeah. Yeah. Sour green beans. Sour green beans, yeah. Mm. But actually pretty tasty, eh? Oh, I like this. Mm. Thumbs up on this one. Ni hao. And that little princess is 97 years old. Hey, you live a long time in China here. Well, some people do. So how old are you? <laughs> 20, 20, 22, I'm right? I'm 19, I'm 19. 19? 18, so, I'm 17, so you're, you're 80 years younger than that lady over there. <laughs> and then after, after we eat, they gotta go for dessert, eh? And uh, all sweets and sugar and stuff like this. This is what they do in this. He's not, like, a, he's, not a, he's not a dessert guy and I'm on a diet. Literally, we like the worst purple people to bring on this. Those purple people. <laughs> we're the worst purple people. Well, actually we got red noses, both of us, because we were out yesterday in the sun for like five, six hours and uh, we got, we got a line. Do I have a line? Yeah, you're a redneck. Uh, redneck Americans, they're everywhere. Even in mainland China, in Rong An, in Guangxi Autonomous Region. Go figure! I was going to say, I've tried it. Okay. Good, I'll do you want to try it. You should try it. <laughs> it's, it's so good. It's good. good. It is good. I like the beans. That's peanuts. Peanuts. Local Putin. <laughs> Vladimir Putin's. <laughs> so for a guy who's on a diet, you're really into the girls' food. You know that, like, <laughs> hey, that's all sugar. You know that, right? Well, yeah. I've he, tried two spoons. Because there's, bowls. because there's cute girls here. Kia goes down the stop. toilet. <laughs> hey? If this was America, there would be like a gigantic bowl. <laughs> so then, walking through uh, Rohan, uh, you get houses like this that are like uh, older than 1949. Seriously, so these are uh, before China. This, this, this house is older than China. Well, the real China, the China that is today, the People's Republic of China. 
One of the things I, just, I love is, is going to different towns, different places around China, and just looking around. And that's, that's what we're doing today here. It's, it's like, it's neat. And this, this, this uh, city, I guess, or, or, well, it looks like a city to me, Rong An, is built along the Rong River. And because it's been raining so much, look at how muddy it is, oh, the muddy river. Uh, but look how big it is, look how full it is. My God, eh? Check this out. And these boys are into dragon boat racing here in this town too. You've got uh, you know, a boat lake behind me with with guys. And they all wear life jackets because when the, the river gets big like this, she gets dangerous. But one of, one of these boats, you get 26 paddlers in each boat and they go after it like crazy men. And, uh, and it's all fun and it's dragon boat racing. One thing I do know that when you're in a place Oh, she's windier than a 10 bear out here. What I do know is when you're in a place along a river like this, and you've got the view of the river, you usually don't have shacks beside the river. Uh, usually, usually this property is worth its weight in gold. Here, it doesn't seem to be. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. On the other side, well, still not. You know what I mean? This is actually where the bridge is supposed to come, but uh, because the water is so high, they've taken the bridge and, and left it just sort of floating out in the river so the debris doesn't bust it up. Uh, the only way to the island is on the bridge or with a ferry. So right now they're using a ferry to get people across. No cars can go, but the, on the bridge cars can go. Weird, eh? <laughs> So I guess the idea that uh, there's no Christian churches in China and they get torn down is just not all that true. Wrong An has a Christian church. It's right behind me. Cool, eh? Little old lady. And this street here is like historical. It's like it's an old street and you can tell by the, the structure and how things are built with the, the pillars in the front and, and, and whatever. Uh, yeah, it's been restored. Some of it's been restored. Beautiful, eh? You know, you see the you see the signs on the walls from the the Cultural Revolution. Uh, yes, propaganda spreading. Uh, you know, hope for the Chinese people and for the for the communist government. Uh, you find those predominantly in older places like this in in mainland China. Uh, they've they've been saved over the years because of their historical. Uh, significance I guess. Well, one of the things I really do like about uh, the more rural areas of China is the quiet, the less hustle and bustle. Uh, you know, the older buildings, the, the strange uh, things that you see on the walls here, you know, with the, the, the old communist propaganda uh, that was written back in the Cultural Revolution. And uh, this building is uh, the same as uh, a lot of buildings around. And I see this in Bobai uh, on a number of buildings also. And uh, it's, uh, it's uh, to try to motivate people to uh, be positive about their future, I guess is what it is. I see this all over uh, China, especially especially in the smaller communities too. That uh, to see this lady behind us, uh, she's telling her story uh, because she's proud of her story and and, uh, and the the story of her community, the story of uh, uh, China as it is right now and how it got there. So it's it's one of those things that. Uh, um, you see the pride in China. She cornered me, told me her story, although it was in Chinese and I didn't understand it, I, I recorded it because you might understand it or some of the people out there might understand it. Uh, and uh, 
<laughs> then she cornered him. <laughs> and away it starts all over again, eh? And uh, that's just the way it is. Okay. Okay. Canada. Canada. How? Canada. Oh. We are united. We are Okay, okay, okay. 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 河啊河啊那个船我们一向那个船就要内了就要内马祖是路我们有时忙忙了我们就简单马祖是万岁共产党万岁我们呢就能够河了而要不言就不给你过河时间充足了我们就内强一点时间不充足了反正共产党万岁